it is me, the Crimson Overlord, and today I am happy to show you, uh, well, a working proof of concept for the Boom Booster. This is a mining assistant, kind of like a, a driller, that can, well, it can dig through these 30 layers of stone in around 40 seconds. Just the mark. Almost missed the mark again. This requires a bit of redstone, pistons, dispensers, eh, a little bit of obsidian. But if you're if you're digging a well a massive hit to the bottom of the world. You're probably going to have a bit of obsidian. And a lot of TNT. Depending on how deep you want to go, this thing can... I don't even know how many layers of each it can do, but I know that it can do um, 30 layers of stone in a, approximately 40 to 50 seconds if you have near perfect timing. The timing is, let me give a block here. The timing is, you press this. Well, uh, I'll do a demonstration first. This is the whole thing. It can probably definitely be shortened up a little, but this is a, this is a, again, a proof of concept. So if I do that, Boom. This works. Well, I have a command block. What is basically a script down there. That one... Uh, what does that one do? Right. This command here sets that block there next to the command block as a redstone block, powering that one, placing the redstone block here. Then those two reset this space and this one to air blocks, thus allowing me to use the command multiple times over in succession. Now, the way this works is when you power this block here, that powers these four dispensers, and these are facing down. Now, these pistons are powered two ticks after the TNT is placed, or will dispensed, and pushes it into the center. There, you, you now have a TNT singularity, 4x. TNT has a fuse of 4 seconds, or 20 redstone ticks. So, taking this 2 tick repeater from the piston timing, and adding it to this 2 tick, and the rest of these being 4 tick, adding up to 20, Minus this one. So 19. And because this is on 19, it goes to this observer, which is the 20th tick. So this piston retracts on what is basically the TNT's last frame of existing before it explodes. And as it's doing so, this puts out TNT one frame, one tick after, one redstone tick after, this piston retracts. So, it activates all four of these dispensers, so you now have what is basically a nuke. And, so I'll do a walk through. Dispensed, pushed, and... Now, I should be able, oh, I should be able to put down some glass to allow it to see better. Can you see them? Yeah, I should be able to. Okay, now, move this. 
gets dropped down. The reason this whole chamber doesn't explode is because there, well, as you just saw, there is a water source block behind this glass. And this piston is holding that source block back from the tube downward. So, when, well, TNT is completely incapacitated from its explosion power when it's in water. So, when this piston moves, it lets the TNT drop down a tiny bit, while also clearing away um, the blast from the TNT that would otherwise push other blocks. That's why you sometimes have sand and gravel flying when you blow up TNT in a desert. It's because the falling sand, um, the falling sand is a gravity block and gets affected by the TNT's push. It's kind of like wind bombing in Breath of the Wild. Only kind of, though. So, yeah. Basic principle. Uh... You have a bunch of TNT. Basic principle is, first set of TNT is dropped, second set of TNT is dropped, the first one launches the second set, and the second set explodes soon after. Now the reason this isn't outperformed by TNT flying machines and Java Edition, well, is because Java has TNT dupers. And yes, this could be made into a flying machine with these moving at the same time, but there's no need, unless you're digging like a very wide hole, in which case you could just get rid of these dispensing into one block and just put them in four block locations, keep them separated, so that way they have a wider blast area. <clears throat> so the application for this is, I saw Silent Whisperer's Bedrock Wither Killer, uh, today, and I thought, I want that, I want stacks upon stacks of beacons, the end gateway just isn't doing it for me, so I thought, hmm, I wonder if there's a way that I can nuke my way to bedrock using the gunpowder and sand to craft TNT from my raid farm, maybe use that to nuke my way to bedrock. So, I built this, I had the concept in my mind for a while, put it together on my 3DS in bed, and then moved it to my survival world on my PC. So, not survival world, creative world on my PC. So this is the whole thing. And, yeah, it works really well. Like I said, it takes like 40 seconds to break through um, 30 blocks of stone. But while that may seem like a downside, you don't have to move it. You don't have to worry about TNT exploding too early because you're up, up too high. This TNT chamber, I believe, let me, let me try something. There we go. And that's the whole thing. Save the disk. Boom booster. Save it. And then, I can fly up to world height, which is, what, three, World height again. Mm. 
think it's 320 though. Yep, there it is. I really dislike this new creative flying. So. If I go up here. And. Load it in. So let's load. Boom booster. Should be able to reach all the way. What? What? Uh, what? Oh, I cut out part of it. Okay. Yeah, I was I was wondering what the heck happened. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be building this at world height, because that would be counterintuitive, especially if you're trying to blast your way to bedrock. So, let's see how far I can get down. So, where was that? Around 100. So, if I go up to here, and just, that's around 200 blocks. This, the boom booster can make one block of TNT, four blocks of TNT, travel 200, well, 200 blocks in a matter of four seconds. I think that's really good. I'm no redstone wizard. I just thought of this because, like, hey, I want a cool way to do this. I like doing things in Minecraft, really grindy things in the most unorthodox way possible. And here it is. This is the boom booster. <laughs> It shoots TNT blocks downwards by 200 blocks until they explode. It shoots TNT blocks downward 200. Ooh, sorry about that. Let's try that again. It shoots TNT blocks down four seconds, and then they explode 200 blocks downward. I I don't know. Y you know what I'm saying. This thing launches TNT at a rate of, what is it, 50 blocks a second. So, yeah, this thing can be used to, what's the new thing, like normal Y levels. the natural generation. Uh, what is it? Uh, extreme hills. I don't think those exist anymore. I think it's just a mountain biome. Here we go. Around about 
256-ish. That means that you can get to, oh, if this is anything to go by, actually. This is weird. This map is, like, it doesn't even show the full height of a biome here, but it's like, what? What does this even mean? I don't know, I'm blanking right now. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess that would mean that 256 is the top. So, you can get to around Y56 with one of these. And then probably build it halfway in the middle of that and get to bedrock from there. So, you'd like, you'd be able to clear out a column of, of blocks in the Y direction with just two of these things. Yeah. I'm just excited this thing works. Let's just do the redstone block thing again. Now, the timing you want on this, um, once the first set of TNT explodes, that's when you want to activate it again. Don't be careful not to activate it when you set off the when the second set of TNT explodes. Because then you're going to have some problems. And if you're building this, you're probably in survival. Or unless you're in creative and you're just messing around, which is A-OK. -okay. But if you're in survival, you probably don't have access to commands if you're building this to dig a giant chasm. So place it, set it off. Once you hear the first boom, that's when you activate the second one. And you just keep going. So that's three. Oh, that's four. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I kind of. I was like, oh, I messed that up. Then you wanna see? I I really hate. I'm gonna use. I swear here because I'm mad and YouTube can go fuck itself. I really hate how Mojang has fucked the bedrock creative experience because now I can't fly properly. I'm so used to pre-119 flying in creative and being able to double tap space to go into normal creative flight. But now I'm just... It just gives you slow falling type flying in creative without what it, it doesn't make any sense I don't know why you've done this Mojang it's it's garbage like look at this I'm sick of this I got it sorry about the epilepsy people um shit happens But yeah, this thing can dig quite low, quite fast. What? Do the thing. It's not even letting me fly, fly normally anymore. So why isn't this working? Oh. I see. I think I have to... I don't know. Is this on center with this? No, very much not. So maybe this one has to be the one to generate it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I should just... Yep, there it goes. Remember, wait for the first boom, then launch it again. Uh, make sure 
you actually have these parts connected though. Because otherwise it, it won't work. Yeah, I'm I'm I just love how fast it comes out. It's great. Wait for the first boom and then do it again. Don't do it before, you will mess it up like I did a few seconds ago. What really helps is um, spatial audio. Like I have a 5.1 surround sound speaker system at my desk. And I can hear what's up in the game behind me. So I can hear the first set of TNT behind me and the stuff going here right in front of me. So probably a minute or so of TNT dropping and we're through 30 blocks of stone. And... Probably about... Ten blocks of deep slate. That's a success. That's a really big success for something I whipped up in the span of half an hour. Go bedrock. Play Minecraft how you want, you know? That's about it. Oh my god, I've been recording for 21, 22 minutes. I really know how to drag a video out. Um... probably not going to do highlights. I mean, you can search through the video for highlights if you want them, but if I'm lucky, this design will get picked up by some big bedrock YouTuber, and it'll get refined and redesigned to the high heaven. I'm hoping Silent Whisperer picks it up. I really like his farms. They work great. So, seeing this in conjunction with a wither cage in the bedrock at the bottom of the world be really spectacular that's all for now um yeah I'm the Crimson Overlord and I'm probably gonna go to sleep I'm tired peace